Hey guys, I'm Jason Raby, and welcome to my masterclass. Let's take a minute and have a look at how and why we adjust the track tension. Especially in the first 500 kilometers, your track's gonna stretch quite a bit. And even periodically through the season, it's definitely important to check it. As you ride the sled, the cogs on the drive shaft fit in the windows on the track. It's essentially what makes the sled move. And having a properly tensioned track and these meshing together properly is what's gonna get you the best performance out of your snowmobile. Usually if the track is too tight, you'll feel an extra vibration in the snowmobile. And then conversely, if the track's too loose, you'll get a, something called ratcheting and it's actually the drive cogs slipping in the windows on the track, which can be super detrimental to the life of the drive axle and the track. So let's go through the steps of adjusting the track tension on your Lynx snowmobile. First, you're gonna pull the desk tether off and then raise the back of the snowmobile to get the track off the ground. So depending on the tools and what you have access to at home, today we're gonna to use a lift, but there's a, several ways you can get the track off the ground. One of them, obviously hanging it. The last case sort of possibility would be laying the snowmobile on the side. So to adjust the track tension, we're first gonna loosen off the axle nut. We're gonna grab two 15 millimeter wrenches or sockets to do that. So proper track tension for your PPS deep snow suspension is around 40 millimeters at the midpoint of your rail on the outside of the track. Two ways to get that are using a tension gauge, or if you don't have that at home, possibly using your finger and pushing about as hard as you can can get you the same result. Now we'll set our tension gauge and check the deflection on the track. Set the tension ring between 50 and 60 millimeters. We'll set the upper force ring to zero and press down near the midpoint of the track to check our track tension. Apply pressure just until the bottom ring is aligned with the bottom of the slider shoe on the rail. With the rear axle loose, you're gonna use a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. Now you're gonna tighten each of the adjustment screws evenly one turn at a time. For me, usually this adjustment is actually done in the backcountry, and so I'm just actually using a half a turn at a time, but just counting as I go to make sure they get done the same. So anytime I adjust the track tension on my snowmobile, I also want to just double check that the alignment is still good on it after. So spinning or moving the snowmobile a little bit and then checking to make sure that the clips have an even sort of distance to the rails. This is ensuring that my track is still running straight in the snowmobile. For me, usually one easy way to check the alignment or to set the alignment preliminary is just by actually measuring the set screws to the rail on e either side. And if they're the same measurement, it generally means the alignment of the track is good. If not, and you need to adjust it, you're gonna go to the side that is further away, the slide shoe is further away from the rail and going a half turn at a time and then checking the alignment to walk the track over on the rails is how I would do it. So once you've achieved proper track tension and proper track alignment, then don't forget to re-tighten and torque your axle nut. Spec is 18 foot-pounds. Once you've tightened the track on your snowmobile, it's also important to check your chain tension as well. So for me, if I'm gonna check the chain tension on my snowmobile, I'll obviously pull the tether off, pull the belt guard off, with one hand grab the brake and hold it on, and then with the other hand, I'm actually gonna grab the secondary and rock it back and forth. And by doing that, I can see how much free play is in the chain on the other side. And then if there is play back and forth on the secondary, now it's time to adjust the chain. So if you need to adjust the chain tension on your snowmobile, you're just gonna grab your clutch tool using the T25 side of it. You're going to very carefully by hand without leverage, start turning the set screw in on your chain case. Tighten the tension screw until you feel resistance, then back it off one turn. It's very important to not over tighten as you'll wear out the slide shoe. So that's it, we got track tension done and chain tension. Let's load up, go find some snow. If you got more questions on sled setup, just tune in for the master classes to come.